My name is David Rickland from SelfGrowth.com. We're here speaking with T. Harv Eker today. He's the author of the New York Times bestseller, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. He's also creator of the three-day Millionaire Mind Intensive and has taught hundreds of thousands of people how to improve their financial lives. We have Harv on the phone with us now. Harv, are you, are you on the line? I sure am, thanks. All right. Harv, we're in the middle of a recession and people are looking for ways to improve the state of their finances, not only during this economic downturn, but for the rest of their lives. If you had just five minutes to tell someone how to radically improve their financial well-being, what would you tell them? Well, I would tell them, first of all, that um, uh, forget about the economy, the general economy, that's nice, but you have to worry about your own economy. So here's the thing. Everyone has their own economy. And you are part of the general economy, but the reality is you have your own microeconomy. There's always going to be people who do well and always going to be people who don't do so well. And that has nothing to do with the economy out there because that's a general masses. And the masses, as you know, are fairly broke. So what does your economy have to do with their economy? Not a heck of a lot. And you can do well in any economy. You can take advantage of what's going on right now. Your job is to utilize what's going on. I believe this that in, in a few years we're going to look back on this situation and you're going to have to decide uh, how you played this. You're going to say, did I even get on the merry-go-round? Or when I was on the merry-go-round, did I just, was I just you know, comfortably uh, up and down on the little horsies? Or did I get on it and did I grow for the, the, the brass ring every chance I got? This is, in my opinion, the time to go for the brass ring. For a change, for a change, it's time to go shopping. Prices were way too high before for everything. This is everything is on sale now, and you should be taking advantage of it. Those are great points. So why aren't people taking advantage of this economy? Well, because of fear, of course. But here's the problem. The problem is what's called their money blueprint. You know, I'm well known around the world for saying this. Give me five minutes with anyone, and I can predict your financial future for the rest of your, of your life. How? by identifying your money blueprint. So each of us has a personal money blueprint already ingrained in our subconscious mind. And it is this blueprint more than anything else that will determine your financial life. So you can be the best marketer, you can be the best business person, you can be the best writer, you can be the best at your job, you can know everything about stocks, everything about real estate, but if your subconscious money blueprint is in preset for a high level of success, you'll never amass a large amount of money, and if by chance you do, you'll somehow manage to lose it. That's very interesting. Do you have any examples? Donald Trump, multi-billionaire, loses everything and more. Two years later, he's got it all back again and more. Why? Because his money blueprint set for high. On the other side of the coin, we have the lottery winners, right? They win five, 10, 50, 100 million dollars. Five years later, virtually half of them are right back to where they started. Why? Because their money blueprint set for low. You know, very simply this, what most people don't realize is that we are all taught, I repeat, taught how to do money. And most of us were taught by people who either didn't have a lot of money or they had a lot of emotional issues, negative uh, habits, uh, non-supportive emotions, et cetera, et cetera, around it. Their ways of thinking and being automatically imprinted in us and became our ways. And now we make our decisions and run our financial life automatically, naturally, unconsciously based on those ways that we learned long and programmed into us a long, long time ago. That's great information. So, Harv, how do we change all this? Well, the first thing and the most important thing you can do in any economy is change your financial blueprint. Raise your financial thermostat so you're automatically set for a much higher level of success. And you know, our programs do that uh, uh, very quickly and very easily for people. Um, secondly, as a takeaway right now, in addition to utilizing the, the financial situation, the economy that we're in right now, use it instead of lose it against it, is you need to realize where your source, where the source of everything starts. One of the things we teach is the, the, the process of manifestation. Your thoughts lead to feelings, lead to actions, lead to results. So your results originate in your thoughts, and of course your thoughts originate in your programming. So look at your thoughts. Your thoughts, by observing your thoughts, the most, the most um, effective thing you could do is the first state of all change is called awareness. So what are you going to be aware of? You're going to be aware of your thought process. At all points in time, you're, you must monitor your thinking. Every thought that comes into your head 
must be monitored. You must observe it. This is the oldest. This is why people sit in a cave for 40 years, right? Observe your thinking. Then label it. If your thoughts are not empowering, if they're not supportive, if they're not, quote, unquote, happy and successful thoughts, you must cancel them very, very quickly and say thank you for sharing or cancel or whatever favorite word you pass or whatever we use cancel. We use thank you for sharing. So not supportive thought comes into my head like, oh, my God, I can't, you know, I've got to deal with this guy. Oh, my God, he, last time it was so atrocious. Oh, that's enough. Oh, okay, now, thank you for sharing. I'm going to put my thought back into what am I doing right this moment, in the present moment, or I'm going to change it into a much more empowering thought. You know what? I'll be able to handle this guy. Everything is cool. So either a, a present moment thinking or a, a, a more empowering thinking. Either way, you must monitor your thinking. Your thinking will determine your life. If you don't master your thinking, your thinking will master you. If you don't master your mind, your mind will master you. And I guarantee this. Your mind is a wonderful slave, but it's a terrible master. And when you're the slave, it's bad news. So you must begin to monitor. Practice what I call power thinking. Power thinking. Monitor every thought that comes into your mind. If it's not empowering, cancel it. Move it to a present moment thought or move it to a more empowering thought. You can only control one thing, your thought process. When you control that, you control your life, especially when it comes to money. That is very, very powerful. There are a lot of great ideas in there. And the money blueprint is right on the mark. And what's interesting is I was listening. These are things that I've seen in my life, and I realize the changes. And, and you really need to start, as you said, with the awareness, understand, and then change your money blueprint. Very, very powerful. Thank you very, very much. For all of our listeners and viewers, we have a question of the day for everybody. The question is, what one recommendation from Harv do you think will have the greatest impact on you? Please comment below. And for additional information on T. Harv Eker, his books, his products, his seminars, please visit the links on the right and below the video. Thanks for your time and best success with your life. <laughs>